Could this ingredient be aging your skin? Could what you eat be making you sag? I bet you're wondering what it is I'm talking about. Well, that culprit is, remember, this channel's all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. So what is the one ingredient you could be having in your diet that may be causing your skin to sag and may be causing you to lose water? You may be losing elasticity and you don't even know it. What is it? It's sugar. It's sugar. I love sugar, y'all. Love it. I love all things sweet. I don't know why. I wish I was one of those people that didn't, but I do. I love it. And I don't just like sugar. I like salt and sugar, both of which wreak havoc on my skin. So let's talk about why we need to be working on getting rid of sugar. Oh my gosh, it's the culprit of so many problems in our body and especially our skin. It actually ages our skin. Sugar aging is what it's called. And it's more prevalent today than ever. And I don't care how many serums, potions, lotions, devices, in spa treatments you do, I don't care how much freaking Botox you get, it is not going to cure sugar skin. So what is sugar skin? Well, let me tell you something. Sugar does to our body, what sugar does to our body actually has a name. Guess what it is? Age. The acronym for it is age, A-G-E. It's advanced glycation endpoint. What is advanced glycation endpoint? That's when your skin, sugar binds to your proteins, your lipids, and your nucleic acids. And it does this regularly. Sugar causes the cross-linking of collagen when it binds to protein bundles in your skin, which stiffens your collagen, stiffens your skin, reduces elasticity, and lowers the amount of collagen that you, that you produce in your skin. It basically kills your skin with this advanced glycation endpoint, age. It ages your skin. <sighs> Sugar also wreaks havoc on your DNA. It is a huge DNA damager. So on your DNA, I think I've mentioned this before, like on your DNA, you have these little things called telomeres, right? They're at the ends of your DNA. And sugar actually, and as we age, those telomeres shorten. There are things that can lengthen your telomeres, like really good diet, exercise, especially things like yoga can actually lengthen your telomeres, which means that it's adding years to you, right? It's making you look younger, right? You look more youthful because your DNA is more youthful. It's younger, it's got longer telomeres. Sugar actually eats these telomeres up. It actually prematurely ages us. That's like so friggin' scary, y'all. Seriously, scary, so scary. Sugar also, because it spikes insulin, increases inflammation throughout your body. And if you know anything about inflammation, it wreaks havoc on your skin. It can cause problems with your skin retaining moisture, with your skin's production of collagen and elastin, with your hyperpigmentation in your skin, right? Which is all part of inflammation. Sugar is just terrible. Sugar has been linked to a rise also in androgen. So it, <laughs> actually reduces estrogen in your body. So if you're over the age of 40 and you're eating an excess amount of sugar, like you are aging yourself prematurely with every single sweet treat you consume. But it's not just about the sweet foods, y'all. Sugar is in everything. It is in all of our foods. Turn over your box of food and you will see that at some point there are probably added sugars into it. I love that we included added sugars on our food labels, but I also feel like it's 
like it doesn't not always necessarily help, right? Because sugar comes in so many different names. So you really need to make sure you pay attention to like the different kinds of sugar that's in your food and also those added sugars and included sugars. So look at the total sugars, look at the added sugars, and that'll kind of tell you the health profile of your food because you really shouldn't be having a lot of added sugars. But that doesn't mean that you should be eating added like fake sugars because those can be pretty bad for your DNA too. So it, they also damage your DNA. One of the ways that we can like get rid of sugars is to avoid a lot of processed foods. So packaged foods, box foods, those kinds of things are going to have much more like added sugars in them. Also, um, drinking your calories. I'm drinking my tea here and this is a combination. This is a uh, yerba mate and it also contains my antioxidant beauty blend which has like my, my blueberry extract my um rose hip and all that it's got an herbal blend and i just love the way these mix together it gives it a light kind of fruity taste and it's so good for my skin so i drink this a lot and it's zero calories you can drink it iced or you can drink it warm. I prefer it both ways. So you wanna be not drinking your calories. So think not drinking fruit juices, things like that. Even though they might seem like they're healthy for you, they're really not because you're not getting that fiber with the fruit. So things like smoothies even, like basically it breaks down the fiber. That's why smoothies are a problem. Fruit juice also is a problem because it takes out the fiber. So you wanna just try to avoid that kind of stuff as well as looking at your health foods like your yogurts, your peanut butters, your any nut butters, kefir, things like that can also have um, additional like sugars added to them. Even things like salsa can have sugars in it. You really have to kind of look at every single label of every single product that you use to make sure that there's not added sugars. Pasta sauces have sugars in them now. Like everything has sugar in it. It's like so ridiculous or seed oil. It just drives me crazy. It's like everything. I can't seem to win. I'm like, I'm starting to do that and now it's got sugar in it. So we have, you just have to be kind of careful about the foods you choose because sugar does have, does play a huge role in aging our skin. And sometimes we don't think about it, right? Um, we think about it like if you're eating a Snickers bar, you know it's not good for you, but we don't think about how that Snickers bar might impact our skin. And so if you're doing all the things and you are really paying attention to everything, but you're still having problems with elasticity, collagen, and you're like, what am I doing? Like, what's going on? How can I, like, why is this hyperpigmentation not going away? Why is my elastin and collagen not like getting firmer? Like, why is my skin not getting firmer? You may have a lot of hidden sugars in your diet because like I did a haul of everything in my pantry and I realized like, 80% of my food had sugar, had added sugar in it. Like 80%, like even my protein bars had added sugar. So I've had to like rethink since I started going blue zone and trying to eliminate sugar. I've had to really like rethink all of my food purchase choices because I eat really healthy and I try to eat whole plant-based foods. But I mean, I'm going to need to have a you know, I'm, I can't make everything from scratch. I just can't, I'm too busy, right? I have a full-time job. I run this YouTube channel. I'm getting married in June. So I don't have time to like make every single thing that I eat. And so because of that, <laughs> um, I went to the pantry and started looking and I was like, wow, there's more sugar than I thought there was. And I eat really healthy. And food companies really pump that sugar in because it makes it more palatable. It makes us want to eat it. And then they combine sugar and salt because it makes us really crave it. Like we want it even more when there's both of those in there. It hits that sweet spot that like releases dopamine in our brain and says, woohoo, I want more, you know? That's why you can't stop eating ice cream or cheesecake or whew. Fat with sugar, that's the real deal. Anybody anybody who's done like mice studies in a laboratory will tell you like, what, what is one way you can really addict a rat? Give them freaking cheesecake. 50% fat, 50% sugar, they're, I mean, they thrive on that. Because our brain loves fat and it loves sugar. It's also really, really terrible for us. Both of those things are gonna lead to 
advanced glycation endpoint, age, age, it's going to lead to age. So anyway, this whole diet, this whole, <laughs> this whole video was to just point out, right, that you may be getting more sugar than you think, and it could be wreaking havoc on your skin, and it could be really destroying your progress that you're making when you're doing your skincare routine, and you're using your sunscreen, and you're really trying to get all that, but you just notice that you're still not making the kind of improvements that you want. Your skin's looking a little more haggard lately. Um, could be hormones, but it could also be sugar. Okay. Let me know in the comment box, are you addicted to sugar? Are you trying to end your addiction? Have you never had a problem with sugar and you're just one of those people? Secretly, we all love you. <laughs> and I'll see you next time on Globe with Shelly.